Okay, go. Hi, everybody. For Ray, Mary Lou, Pat, Allen, Ray, Kathy, Tori, Alex, Robbie, Steve, Stephen, Camille, Ryan, Chelsea, Connie, Diane, Gary, Shannon, Megan, Meredith, Aaron, Leah, and Ethan. Here are the answers to the family crossword puzzle. I know most of you got some of them, but here we are for all of them. We're going to start with a cross. To a cross, born in Virginia, her middle name honors a family grandparent. This is Megan. Her middle name is Patricia, and that's moi, the grandparent. Number five, a cross. Born in Philadelphia, married a red-headed drummer. This is Grandpa Raymond Oliver Book, who was 25 years old when he married Lillian Piotti, who was a friend of Ray's father. Anyway, his name is Raymond, so is his son's name Raymond, and so is our son Raymond, a family tradition. A partner of Diane Patricia, six across, born in New York State, umpire and referee. Hello, Gary, that's the answer to six across. Number 11 across, born in Lancaster County, same as his great, 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 great grandfather. This is Ethan Housel, whose parents lived in Lidditz, where Ethan was born, and almost a century before that, John and Alice Book owned a great farm in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. How wonderful how things come round for family history. 12 across, daughter of a naval officer, first time grandmother, 2013. This is our Roberta. So number 13, beautiful grandmother, Roberta. 15 across, named by her father, author of this crossword puzzle. This is me, Patricia. That was my father's favorite name in 1937, and it seems that it was very popular with a lot of Patricia mix in 1937. 17 across, a male name, an ancestor, born in Lancaster County, and I think that is John. I have to go look and see. Yes. That is John Book married to Alice, who had two sons, Oscar and Oliver Book. Oliver Book is your grandfather's grandfather. And um, isn't it funny that he now comes down from having two sons, Oscar and Oliver, to having Raymond and then Raymond. And now we have from John and Alice, Dalton Book. Okay, 18 across, a beautiful river in Ireland. Of course, it's the River Shannon. It couldn't be any more beautiful than Shannon Trainer Book is. Okay, 19 across, a regal historical name born in Berks County, Pennsylvania. <coughs> this is our Victoria Catherine, um, our lovely kiddo. So, C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E, -E. okay, Victoria, V-I-C-T-O-R-I-A. <laughs> the answer is Victoria. <laughs> Mother of Anne, an originator of Spaghetti Sunday. Antoinette Tumalo Simeno, your great-great-grandmother. Name for a song and the goddess of the hunt, 24 across, Diane the goddess of the hunt, beautiful Virginian daughter of Patricia and Raymond. 26 across, an ancestor grandmother born in Boston, Massachusetts. This is Emily Sacco Piotti. And if you're interested in researching this, the Saccos in Boston was a notorious name. Is she related? We don't know. 27 across, a five-generation family male first name, biblical 
first martyr. The name Stephen in our family has a great historical value. Your great-great-grandfather, Stephen McGinnis, had an uncle, Stephen Mullen. That was your great-great-grandmother Ellen's brother. And so my father was named Stephen. My father named his son Stephen. I named my son Stephen. And Stephen, my son, named his son Stephen. What a wonderful generational tradition. 28 Across met her future husband, ballroom dancing. This is my mom and your grandmom, Annie. The answer is Anne, A-N-N-E. She and my dad met in, down at Kensington and Allegheny Avenues where there was a ballroom and they used to be in dance competitions, but they didn't dance with each other because their height didn't match. My father was six foot and my mother was a little less than five foot. Okay. Uh, number 30. No one will disagree that the answer is Camille, a beautiful mother and a mixologist part-time, but her main job is mother and she does it beautifully. Okay, 32 across. Partner of Patricia McGinnis Book. He is a teacher and trivia expert and that's Alan McLaughlin, Alan, A-L-A-N. Okay, everybody, you should have all the across done. Shall we start with down? Here we go. One down, a biblical name. Her middle name honors a great-great-grandparent. This is Leah, which is a biblical name, and her middle name is Ellen, honoring Ellen Mullen McGinnis, a great-great-grandmother. Number three down, mother of Oscar and Oliver Book. I mentioned her before, wife of John. This is Alice Book. Four down, a five-generation family male first name. Raymond, your grandfather Raymond, uh, and uh, your great-grandfather Raymond, a son Raymond, a great tradition. Seven down, half owner of a pet named after a grain. Tori and Alex were very clever. The answer is Alex, and the, the grain is Barley, their puppy. Number eight, Arizona born, newest member of the family. That's Dalton, D-A-L-T-O-N, one year old in November. What a treat for all of us to have another generation. Nine down, a teacher and a crafter, and oh, so creative. This is our Kathy, who does everything with such finesse. Ten down, ancestor grandfather, nicknamed Louis, born in Abruzzi province, Italy. His real name is Alessio, which I think is really a lot prettier than Louis, but everybody called him Louis, and he was one of the most well-loved people you could ever meet in your life. Every story about him is about love and generosity. Number 13 down, name for the joy and holiness of Christmas. Meredith, you don't know how happy I was to hold a baby in my arms in December, just as Mary did so long ago. Meredith is our family joy. 16 down, name for a character in a book of fiction. This is our Constance. She doesn't like Constance, she likes Connie, but my first romantic novel, the, the heroine was Constance, and she was blonde and beautiful and good-hearted, just like your Aunt Connie, my daughter Connie, your sister Connie. Okay. 20 down, future teacher, born in Illinois, and is she so good at what she does? This is lovely Chelsea, who's embarking on her career, and congratulations on her December graduation from Bloomsburg. 21 down, a male name found in both Book and McGinnis family, godfather of Raymond. Okay, everybody, this is a little more difficult. My grandfather, your grandfather McGinnis, your great-great-grandfather, was James Book. 
James, okay? Big family name in the Guinnesses. And Grandpop's brother, your Grandpa Ray Book, has a brother named James, who was my son Raymond's godfather. He's a good guy and an opera book and a historic um, knowledge of opera. Okay, um, 23 down, an ancestor grandmother, her mother married in uh, Ireland. This is Ellen Malen McGuinness, one of the most beautiful, blue-eyed, gentle women you would ever want to meet. I've traced her back on Ancestry.com to her mother's marriage and where she was uh, born in Ireland. Okay. 25 down, former partner of Connie Lynn Margaret Book Francis. Civil War affection motto. Jeff collected books on the Civil War and has a case full of history about the Civil War. So the answer is Jeffrey, Jeffrey Francis. Okay. 29 down, partner of Connie Lynn Margaret and part owner of Roland and Wyatt. This is Philip, Connie's partner now, dog trainer and um, happy southern man, okay? 31 down, born in Bedford County, Pennsylvania, helped build a family home at age 16. This is our Aaron, Meredith's husband, and um, not only did he help build a family home, he's created a beautiful home for our, uh, Meredith and Leah and Ethan in Tennessee. So thank you all. I hope this helps. I hope this recording worked. And I'm happy to share any family information you would like to have. Signing off.